So I think uh, I grew up with very poor self-esteem, right? I'm sitting right now, but uh, if I stand, I'm not a very tall person. I, I always believed I'm not a handsome person. Uh, you know, I now believe that this neurodiversity runs in our gene pool. So I would believe that, uh, you know, I inherit some of it from my parents. Like I said, I never came first or second. So I thought that the more I compete, the poorer I will look. So therefore, I never wanted to compete. So hi, my name is Rahul Jindal. I'm 41 years old. I live in Hyderabad uh, with my uh, wife Kriti and my son Kairav. I work at Google India uh, in Hyderabad. I've been here nine years. Uh, as a part of my work at Google and because of my personal connect with the neurodiversity, I've had the opportunity over the last five years at least to learn more, share more. Uh, for a while, I was also Google India's executive sponsor for our Disability Alliance uh, Employee Resource Group, ERG. And that made me learn a lot more about what happens inside uh, Google over, overall worldwide and uh, Google in India and also what happens in the community. So I was uh, born in Chandigarh. I spent uh, about uh, 21 years of my life in that city. Uh, I think I was always reasonably good with studies. In fact, I remember even sleeping with books on my bed. Uh, you know, I didn't have much toys, but uh, even with a nail cutter or some, you know, household things like that, I made friends with those inanimate objects because I never felt judged by those objects, right? Uh, uh, with peers, I had a bit of a struggle always uh, because I was not cool. I did not have, uh, you know, fancy clothes to wear. I could never compete in terms of that coolness. Uh, so with peers, I, I was happy uh, in places where I got acceptance, where I did not get explicit acceptance or I felt implicit lack of acceptance, I would simply just withdraw. I thought with computers, I found a natural friend. There was no judgment. If I was wrong in attempt one, I could do it again. If I was wrong in attempt two, I could do it again. So I was like, this is a world which I can cope in very, very well. I do feel that people got attracted to me for my ideas, for my sometimes creative articulation, for my knowledge, for my uh, always ready nature or personality to help, right? Uh, and I find great joy in helping others, right? I, 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 I find it difficult to do things which are only for myself but if the same thing I can explain to myself that it is for the benefit of others I can do it very very easily. In my journey of uh, getting equipped with the vocabulary on neurodiversity and you know of course then I took it as a academic subject like any other and you know, you know uh, I am attracted to study of concepts so one, it was a personal topic to understand our child, but then also, uh, you know, this topic in general fascinated me. So I realized that some typical traits, again, everybody, nobody is equal, even in the neurodiverse uh, uh, spectrum or the autism spectrum, but some typical uh, attributes were discomfort with social situations or awkwardness in social situations, or generally, uh, you know, some knowledge that you may have acquired yourself on a concept uh, that you will keep going on and on about it you know that will be your uh, predominant topic of conversation with others or uh, or having to prepare to even look spontaneous right which is a very big reality for me uh, and uh, general kind of not really having one best friend kind of thing and so on those kind of things so when I looked back at my journey so far right and I became a father at maybe 34 years of age uh, when I looked back at my 34 years at least the chunks that I remembered I realized that that's why I maybe struggled in peer relationships and it's okay, right? That I, most of my conversations with other people were about me sharing my knowledge and that's okay. That I may be socially awkward in some situations where I haven't had enough chance to prepare and that's okay. That perceived spontaneity comes to me by preparedness and that's okay. And I'm not the only one, right? When I started uh, coming across statistics and it went from 1 in 53 or something like that in 2016-17 uh, to 1 in 30 now, right? And I started to engage in dialogue on this topic at the company where I work itself, read about trends in the IT industry and realize that I am not alone, right? A lot more people are like me, a lot more people feel like me, a lot more people realize well into their adulthood, well into their parenthood that maybe they are neurodivergent themselves. 
so that i think uh, became a source of uh, empowerment became a source of assurance i moved on from a self narrative of that oh my god i'm deficient and incomplete and dysfunctional in so many ways to being unique in so many ways and that's okay i think once i started to speak to myself that that's okay i am okay it helped me it helped me help others it helped me accept others i think neurodiverse or not everybody needs to tell themselves and everybody needs to feel that about themselves and everybody hopefully needs to feel about others that i am okay you are okay and we can be happy together